Hello, welcome back. Um, yeah, about last time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just show, um, yes, well, we're off to a great start. Um, show the end of the fight. Um, luckily I didn't save over my last shit or whatever, so I was able to just redo the end of this fight. Fuck you, by the way. Okay, so we gotta get, um, man, we're gonna have to cast, uh, oh, come on, man, don't do this to me. Uh, okay, yeah, well, you know what, let's not... Let's not fuck around. I already had enough fucking around trying to get this setup to work. Basically, what I did is um, I'm gonna have to get. Um, I put my uh, my timer to the left of me. That way, I can check the uh, the capture and the audio and the time uh, whenever I need to. Uh, yeah, this is what he does when he dies. Not everybody's gonna come back to life, but oh fucking well. Um, as long as one person survives, it's good enough. And I'm actually just gonna reload my other. Uh, game anyway, so it's fine. Oh, just, uh, just Jasper stayed dead. Alright, good enough. Okay, and, uh, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> it was kind of funny, uh, when I was getting it all set up, I wanted to get to the boss fight, so I ran all the way back up the fucking, t uh, tower, and, um, I ran all the way back up the, uh, the, uh, the fucking jam, and then uh, I activated the cutscene, and then I didn't realize that the, I wasn't paying attention, and I didn't realize that the um, the uh, the fucking fight starts without you hitting any buttons. So uh, everybody was dead except Bog by the time I noticed. Um, so then I had to run up the fucking tower again to um, to, to you know to uh, activate the fight and actually do it correctly. Um, by the way, uh, I'm a sad panda to say that uh, I did have to look it up. Um, I think I did mention it. I was like, did you have to, I was like, do you have to bring, uh, Realm and Strago? Or Strago or whatever? And, uh, yeah, it turns out you do. Turns out, you, for some reason, you just need both of them with you. So, I mean, I mean, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just fucking go and do it. Just activate the thing. But, uh, yeah, I did just want to show the end of that fight since it got cut last time, and yeah. I mean, I already explained what happened. Uh, at the end of the last video, so I don't need to say it again. And I just... Yeah, we're back! It's like old times! Old times? Is that an old person joke? Who the fuck are you, you little fucking wench? Come here, let me show you a thing or two. Time to relax, home sweet home. Grandpa! This is terrible, gung-ho's hurt. Gung-ho? Oh man, he got hurt from, like, the time where I was, like, looking around. Somehow, Rail magically made him, like, be in the bed. Don't go, wake up! Who did this to you? It was Hidun, Hidden, Hidden. The beast you and I used to hunt, I almost had it. You took on Hidden? Ooh, cough, cough. G Gung Ho! Do, do you know you please you must avenge me? What do you mean avenge you? You're not dead. Ooh, cough cough. Yeah, we know. So the thing is that uh, if it almost killed you, how the fuck did you get away from it? If you were strong enough to get away from it, then like Gramps, why are you hesitating? I'm just saying that like if you're hurt so badly, then how are you able to get away from it? I don't know. Adrenaline maybe? I don't know. Well, I spent my youth chasing that creature. To do it again at this age is more than I bargained for. Gung Ho, rest easy. I'll do it for you. I'm gonna cheat by using a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Grandpa! Just a minute. You don't think you're going alone, do you? Or did you? I spent too many years of my life hunting that thing. It is my obsession, not yours. Oh, like, come on. You think she's gonna fucking take that? As, like, she should be like, oh, okay, well, have fun. But, Grandpa, this obsession of yours could easily slay you. Slay you? There we go again. You can't, you can't say kill. But they could say slay. That means the same thing. So why can't they just use the fucking word? Like, it's not even saying, like, vanquished. Because you can be vanquished and not be dead, technically, right? Or defeated. Uh, you're my grandfather. I can't just sit idly by and watch you go.
Sorry, Jasmine. I'm so grateful that you care. But as its name implies, the hideout is extremely difficult to find. Unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Next up, Ibot's Rock. Which is which we can now enter for some reason. That is kind of lame how they did that, where um, they could have just had something in the cave like block you from entering or some shit, instead of just the map itself fucking changing. Okay, so that's that's all we had to fucking do. And there we go, boom, cave. Um, it's very large. I don't know why we didn't see it before, because it wasn't there. It just the the rock changed shape, I guess. I don't fucking know. Um, what are we gonna use, by the way? Man, I have to get sand that's up at some point. Uh, should we try? If, um, we got a couple people in the higher 40s. I kind of want to. Um, we'll, we'll use. Um, we we'll use Markiplier. You're at 44. That's unacceptable. Uh, we'll use Zeus. Man, fucking. I feel bad that he's at 50 just because he's over, like, higher than everyone else, but, like. You know what, you, we'll use Funky G and Realm. It seems kind of like a motley crew of people. Um, I am going to cut, and uh, I'm just going to equip everybody. i got to unequip the other people, and then uh, equip these guys. So yeah, we'll cut, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is the setup uh, I chose. I put uh, Kieran or Kieran or whatever on um, Realm, just to have another person learn scans, and hardly anybody knows it. And uh, we got Tri Totch or Tri Talk or whatever on uh, Funky G... Uh, Phoenix, uh, he's still working on Life 3, and, uh, Locke, I just want to give them his, uh, give him this, he already had it partially learned, and for equipment, we put the Gradius, Gradius, or whatever, on her, uh, Doom Darts on Funky G, uh, I could give him, give him an Elemental Shield if we keep running into, um, Elemental something or others, and he's got the Genji, Genji, or whatever shield, I could put the red cap on him, uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll have to heal him, I suppose. I mean, now nah, I won't heal him now, but he's, uh, that's what, 25% more of uh, HP, I believe. And I put the curse shield on him. Uh, I could put him in the back row since he has uh, the wing edge or whatever, the throwy thing. And for relics, uh, I gave her hero ring, black belt, black belt. And I gave him pot bracelet to give him safe and shell since his uh, defense is going to be really low. And uh, also the ribbon, uh, I said this before, but uh, just so that uh, he's not totally uh, foobar f from having the curse shield on. So I mean, I'll make an exception from that, that's pretty reasonable. Because otherwise he's essentially useless as a character. Okay, uh, let's save. Uh, we're good to save over this one, I believe. Damn it, now I'm going to be like super fucking paranoid about saving over shit. Yeah, I can save over this one. Okay, in we go. Fuck, I don't have to have uh, Strago with me, do I? I just had to activate the cutscene, right? Uh, I don't know. Let's just fucking see. Oh man, I might want to put the put the charm bangle on someone too. That's just a field, um, a field uh, thing that's not going to help us in battle, so I don't count that. I know I said that too, but just in case somebody watched that episode, but not this one. Or, you know, reverse it. Uh, just like uh, Willy Wonka did. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. Okay, I'm not going to say hungry that many times. Feed me, otherwise I won't let you buy. Like to eat coral, have any? I don't have any. Skin foot. What the fuck is a skin What does that mean, I wonder? That's silly. Basically, this is a fucking maze. Uh, that's the way in, out, or whatever. This is kind of lame. Fuck. Uh, and that's why. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a, a great memory of this area, actually. I don't know what we're in uh, store for. I'm not sure if this part is considered difficult. But uh, hopefully we'll be in and out in uh, this episode. we got 22 minutes left. I did forget to uh, turn the timer off when I... Uh, when I cut, but then I just added, like, three more minutes. I was like, eh, it's about three minutes, so I'm just guessing. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I did feel kind of bad that I had to look that shit up, but, like, I was out of shit... Oh, come on, man. 
I was out of, um, like, things to do to, like, stall, to, like, keep thinking about it. Oh, what the hell? Hmm. I, is it random, or does it depend on which direction you step on the switch from, I wonder? Basically, you just gotta go through this stupid maze where you can't see anything, and open the treasures, and find a bunch of coral, and then give him the coral, then... It... He needs a lot of coral, so at some, like... After the first couple times giving it to him, you're gonna think that it's not working, but then at some point, um, you'll eventually collect enough just from wandering around for long enough. Oh man, dead. Oh shit, it's undead. Son of a bitch, oh well. Okay, we'll just focus fire on the dude that he hit. Let's uh, target this thing. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. One shotted. Okay, so yeah, after this, um, I actually don't know if we get a magicite piece from this. Oh, I guess I am gonna permanently miss the um, the the doom train uh, lore. I'm pretty sure this is the only guy that gives it to you. But uh, oh well, this isn't a hundred percent run, obviously. It's one of those things where, like, you get it, and then you, like, try it once, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's cool. But then you don't ever use Strago again, so it doesn't matter <laughs> that you have it. Well, I wonder if get, I wonder if uh, if they get healed when, um, when they get dispatched or whatever. Yeah, let's see, come back from that. Yeah, the fucking uh, Cyan's instant kill move just fucking cleaves them, so it doesn't matter if they're undead or not. It is kind of cool how there's, like, two versions of like, a thing being killed in one shot, or whatever. Slatter? What the fuck? I was just gonna steal our fucking monies, too. Yeah, when I worked at Menards, uh, I had to stock flat- I'm uh, sorry, slat wall. Wait, is it called slat wall? Uh, yeah, I learned what that is. I don't know what it's for. I mean, I kinda know it's, like, what you could use to, like, put hooks on to make, like, peg- It's- you- there's these, like, goop- Man, I don't fucking know shit about about that kind of shit. What did somebody learn life two, but they still need life three? It's like white. It's like a white thing with save point. Okay, sure, why not? It has. It's like has a bunch of like grooves in it, and then holes, and then there are these like weird hooks where you could like you could like wedge the. Man, this is fucking hard to explain. You could um. You could wedge in, like, a like a hook that's, like, has, like, a 90-degree angle on it that's intended to be, like, pushed in and then turned 90 degrees to, like, so that it'll, like, be held in place or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the same thing. I haven't worked at Abenard in a couple of years, so I could just, I could be wrong. Okay, I might want to put, um, is the wing edge the thing that keeps uh, killing him, but he keeps coming back? I didn't know that the wing edge uh, could had dispatch. One piece of coral, fuck that. Okay, I don't think I have enough, but we'll uh, give him this much just to be sure. Yeah, no, wasn't enough. Oh man, oh, we need more than one piece at a time, man. Fuck that. I guess it all adds up, but like. I mean, pennies that fucking add up. Jeez. Doesn't mean it's worth it. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this cave is kind of annoying, actually. It's not really exciting. So it matches my uh, commentary then, right? <laughs> Just kidding. No, I, I sometimes use myself as, like, the butt of jokes. Just because I know I can take a joke. And I'm not gonna get butt hurt about it, so I might as well use myself as the, uh... As the butt of the joke. Alright, piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like super. We're like. We're like. Well within. We're I'm pretty sure we're like over leveled. I was like changing what I was gonna say like over and over again, like mid sentence. It's like we're pretty much one shotting everything. I mean, not everything, but. Everything's dying really quick before it can do anything to us. Oh man, was I just here? I think I think that spot looked like where I was just at. 
If I were just there, there wouldn't have been a treasure chest there. Okay, I think that was an unopened one. See, I always wonder, like, this dude is named Hippocampus, but, like, that's from, you know, the part of the brain, the Hippocampus. I wonder if these other dudes are, too. Like, if they're just named after something, and it's just a word I don't know. Like, I think I said this before, but, um, there's a uh, there's a bird enemy in a Final Fantasy game. Now, I guess I've been playing this for over a, for like a month and a half now. We're on episode what forty five, I think. So it's it's turning into like where I'm having a hard time remembering if I said something if it was like a month ago. Um, but I was playing um, Scrabble with my grandma, and we got to like the end of the game where you have to start like putting like one or two letter words and just sticking them on shit, you know, because there's not a lot of room left on the board. Because uh, we used up all the letters and uh, filled up the entire board. So you're always putting, like, putting an F on an I to make F, and, you know, putting an O on an N to make no, and shit like that. And, um, and I, I put the word MOA. I don't know if that's even how you pronounce it. M-O-A. And my grandma was like, the f you know, she was like, what the fuck is that? You know, she didn't swear, but, um, and actually, I think I looked it up first. Because I knew she would challenge it or whatever. And yeah, actually, I, I looked it up. I, I vaguely remember seeing it from uh, a Final Fantasy game. It was a bird. And uh, looked it up, and yep, sure enough, it, it was... I believe the definition was any of a kind of extinct flightless bird from New Zealand or New Guinea or some shit like that. And yeah, it was in the dictionary, so... I mean, any one of these enemies could be a word that I just don't fucking know that they're based on. Or just named after an animal that looks like the enemy or something. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have enough coral by now. Holy balls. I gotta fucking find my way back. Do I even have the charm bangle on? I do. See, I'm getting, I'm getting not attacked a crazy amount, but it still feels like a lot. Okay, shoot. Okay, if this isn't enough, I'm gonna be surprised. I know it needs a lot, but we've gotten a lot. Oh, damn it. How much does fucking want, man? Okay. I'm not sure if the treasure chest uh, keep respawning uh, coral, or if it's uh, or if the cave like if we're just repeat going to places that look the same, you know, that have the uh, have the same layout, but it's actually different. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work. I'm pretty sure that's undead. Undead AF. There we go. And only 393 gold. What is this? The world of balance? Shit. Uh. Ah, oh, damn it. You imagine how many fights we'd be doing if we didn't have the charm bangle on? Damn, dude. I mean, I kind of want to take that off, but I keep feeling like we're gonna get to the the like to the end, or we won't need to. By the way. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, at the vocal waves or whatever, and the uh, the capture right now, and I'm actually not entirely sure. In the last episode when it fucked up, I'm not entirely sure. But okay, I think the audacity still said it was recording, even though it wasn't. And then when I hit stop, it had already it had already st like cut out prior, but then it still said it was recording. But uh, when I went to hit stop on the audacity, it had already stopped on its own. So I so I don't fucking no please oh come on. I mean I knew he needed a lot, but I didn't think he needed this much. Damn. Okay, I do think I'm starting to think that the it's re that the chests are respawning, and I think it just gives you like a random amount of coral. I think. What the hell? I don't remember there being a place like that. Just a single room dead end or whatever. Why did he even attack with him? Why is his name Displayer? Is that... Is that like a... Mythological... Like, creature or something? I mean, obviously not like a famous one, but like a... Like like a minor one that's in one of the story where you would actually have to... Read the story to know about it? I don't know. Because, I mean, it's not one of those games where they just, th like, fart out fucking names and they don't make sense, so... Displayer has to make sense. 
I guess it doesn't, but I don't fucking know. I want to believe that that wasn't just a translation, something where they just farted out a word. Uh, come on, man. Alright, two. Yeah, I think they just, I mean, they just want you to be lost in here for a while. They just want you to, this is exactly what the game wants you to do, which is weird. I guess it's a nice change of pace. They just want you to be, like, thankful to, like, get out. <laughs> and, yeah, it's working. I'm starting to get the ready to be done with this uh, feel. I should have had Zeus attack the green dude, because I actually I don't technically know if uh, if that counts as undead, but I know this guy does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like way earlier in the game. We're at that point where like 700 experience really isn't a whole lot. We're only getting one magic point per battle, so it's not really a good place to, to grind either. Oh, man. Okay. You land. Like, is that... Like, is an E-land a thing? Okay, so that that dude stays dead, so if, if this happens again, I'll just have to remember to have Zeus attack the green dude. Well, if nothing else, we're getting, um... I guess the good news about all these fucking battles is we're getting, um... Battles done for the uh, curse shield. I just thought of that just a second ago. So that's a nice little silver lining, I suppose. I'm still not uh, entirely sure if uh, if you have to keep it on consecutively, or if the game just keeps track and you can like switch characters and take it off and put it back on and shit a bunch of times. I'm assuming. I mean, if you had to keep it on, there it's like. I'm pretty sure that the game's not going to expect you to, uh, to keep it on the whole time. Like, you're going to do, like, 250 of the battles that you need and then take it off or, or talk to the fucking dude on the airship and accidentally unequip it or something and then have that, have the counter go back to zero. I don't think they would do that. Clocked. New enemy. Man, we've done, like, 20 fucking fights and we're just now seeing new enemies. All right. Got the fucking, uh, chicken, duck soon, lizard motherfuckers. Uh, I don't know what to do, let's just fuck- we should be good to just whack all these dudes. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah, I am freaking tired. Stench, jeez. What did he do, wipe the sweat off the bottom of his gut and hold it under our nose? Oh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Um, whenever I go to the bathroom at Mercury, there's, there's like, always, like, there, there's enough people that work in that area that are near that bathroom that, like, I would say 80% of the time, there's a dude and they're taking a dump, no matter when I fucking go. And it just, it, like, it's every fucking day, and then it just kind of got me thinking that, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, we just kind of take it for granted, we just think it's part of life, and it is. But, uh... Hold on. Okay, one more point, and then we'll have that on, uh, fucking dude. But, like, I'm sitting here, I, like, my, I'm breathing in, like, the fumes of the stuff that was, like, inside another man's body, like, just a minute ago. You know, and then a lot of times they'll, like, you'll, they'll, like, they'll poop, and then, like, air will come out, too, and it'll just smell like farts and shit in there. I'm just like, all that shit was, like, in y'all's bodies, and now it's, like, now it's in my body, because when you smell it, uh, you're inhaling it, because, you know, when, and, you know, when you, when you smell shit, it means you're breathing it in, and now it's in your body. So, boy, when, when spiritualists say that we're all connected, boy, they really fucking mean it. Okay, yes, I know, Pearl. I always thought it looked like a, like a tidal wave or something. Like a, like a tidal wave from, like, California games or something. Oh, yeah, that game is very, like, fun slash not fun. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's fun for a little while. I don't know. Some of the events are more fun than others. 
Uh, who learned that? Okay, you. Uh, okay, so... And try touch or try talk or whatever is the one we need. Uh, you have Phantom. Okay, I'll just give you this one. Why not? Just don't want to waste time in the menus. Yeah, I'm actually not um, sure if we're going to get a Magicide piece from here, from this dude. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. We're going to get one from... We're going to get Crusader from getting the dragons. And then... And then there's... And then there's three more. I'm pretty sure one of them is just a blank space, just so that you can unequip them. You can just select the empty space and it'll take it off. But I'm actually not... Uh, entirely sure where to get the other ones from. Got the two from the auction house. I got the one from the fucking island. Uh, where, uh, Selyse and Sid were. And we've, go we've gone around to all the other fucking places. I was, I was thinking we might get a magicide piece from, uh, from that tower. But, uh, we did not. There was just a treasure. I mean, yeah, it's a good item, but, like, I'm sitting here, you know, they're like, Kafka's treasure! Oh, it's like, you know, if it's such a treasure, why doesn't he keep this shit with him? Why does he put it at the top of a fucking tower and leave it unguarded? Is this gonna take us to the fucking treasure? Damn it! Okay, I'm just gonna step on the nearest one every time now. Hey, three pieces. That does increase our chance. Okay, sweet. I guess the longer we stay lost, the, the like greater the chance that we'll, uh... Wow, he still wants more. Are you fucking serious? The longer we stay lost in between trips, the greater the chance that we'll find treasures with Corlin. Oh, man. Okay, that's not even attack with you. It's pointless. I wonder if that's supposed to be casting a uh, zombie and it's just been failing every time. I was about to say, I could cast a spell with Zeus, but I was like, eh, it's just whack. I haven't had to dip into my magic at all, except for healing. I had a feeling we wouldn't have to, that's why I didn't put a gold hair pit on anybody. I was like, even if we need to, um... You son of an ass. I was like, even if I need to, um... Like, use magic for the boss, I can just use tinctures. I'm actually like, like fucking save point man again, but it's like I never thought I'd be like upset. To see, I mean, I'm not upset, but you know, irritated to see a save point over and over again. Okay, I'm pretty sure this uh, bear doesn't steal money from us, so that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just target him first anyway. Why does choke look like a slash slashy mark? Maybe I've just been doing it to people wrong. <laughs> Jeez, alright. Yeah, I reckon he has to buy two seats on the... when he gets on an airplane. Golly. Are they actually making people do that? Or was that... or like, were they... like, thinking about it? Because other people were complaining. About people's like fat spilling into their seats. I'm not sure if that actually uh, got like passed where that's like a law. Can you imagine being if that was? Can you imagine like the the like the stewardess that has to like enforce that shit to like get out a fucking ruler and just like measure a person's fat to see like if it goes like more than X amount of inches into the other person's like seat, and then you're like, oh, you're one inch too fat. You gotta spend another four hundred dollars on another flight, on another plane ticket. <laughs> Man, four thousand damages. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the last uh, plane I flew on was um, we were flying to Disney World or whatever in. Um, in Florida, it was a couple. It was like two hours and forty-five minutes, and uh, it was a pretty small plane, actually. And uh, but at the same time, like I don't know, maybe I'm just more laid back than the average person. But we flew coach, and it wasn't 
anything fucking fancy, and, um, and I, I mean, the seats weren't huge, but there was enough room, I guess, I don't know. I guess also everybody was polite. There wasn't, like, the asshole that wanted to, like, recline back and put the back of his seat into my, like, lap, you know? So, I mean, everybody kept their fucking seat upright. Uh, there weren't any babies on it. There wasn't anybody, you know, hacking a lung up next to me. Aw, oh, dude. Are you fucking serious? This is fucking ridiculous, man. We're gonna go over on fucking time, just because of this. I guess we'll just, uh, we'll go until we get to the boss, and we'll fight the boss next time. You son of a bitch. Okay, we at least have one guy we can hit with lock now, though. Why is that? Why is his belly button at the same height as his fucking boobs? By the way, <laughs> gotta get that fucking art director or art designer, the dude who draws up the enemies on the horn. Ask him that. They could have just not given, given him a belly button and just assumed that it was tucked into his pants. Why does he have pants the exact same color as his, like, like all the skin all over his body, too? Imagine him going into the store for that. I'm looking for a pair of pants. Sure, but color were you, were you looking for? The exact same color as the whole rest of my body. Like, oh, okay, well, alright. Like, I also need him for, uh for an obese child who's spherical in shape. Okay, please, man, please. Please, no! Man, are you... F Is it resetting? Like, do I have to bring it all at to him at once or something? I don't fucking know. There's no way that you have to bring it all at once. I would have remembered, I would have remembered that. I've played this game enough times, I really want to believe that I would have remembered that, if that were the case. I'm pretty sure they just want you to, like, be lost in this fucking cave and just, and just collecting coral for 20 minutes or whatever. I, I kind of feel like this is, like, artificially, like, adding length to the game. I mean, I guess that's technically what dungeons are in general, but... I mean, I guess, I mean, I gotta give them points for, like, trying to be different, I guess. It's like a different kind of dungeon, but... Eh, give me warp stones. In case I just can't stand it and want to get the fuck out. Three corals, yay. If I find one that has one in it, I'm gonna be... Too, eh. Like I said, I guess it adds up, but... Okay, come on. Oops, shit. I didn't, shouldn't have done that. I could just use uh, Zeus's magic, I suppose. I don't think he knows that the level 3 shit, though. Wait, does he? Does he know Fire 3? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he had Phoenix on. Yeah, that's why we put uh, other shit on him, because he knew that one. Okay. Like, what is even supposed to be happening when you step on this butt and, it, and it, you just get, like, teleported? Oh, come on, man. What the shit? Oh, dude. I'm just... Can you imagine if I didn't have that fucking Charm Bangle on? I'd be... I would have had... I would have had fought, like, a thousand fucking fights by now. Does Charm Bangle even help? Man, I thought about bringing Mog, too, but I was like, oh, I don't want to skip all the fights. I'm thinking I maybe should have brought Mog, just so we could avoid all these fucking shits. If I would have known it, it would be like 5,000 fucking fights. Okay, I gotta go ahead and heal, too. I've been not, I haven't been really looking at my health that much. Just because we've been wrecking so much, uh, shop. Uh, let's go ahead and use, um... Uh, let's use your magic. Oops. Okay, he needed it anyway. But, uh, yeah, I also just have to, uh, just pay attention. Some of the attacks, uh, Pearl was doing, like, 1,100. 
one piece of coral. Ugh. Five pieces, there we go. Oh man, it sucks to be the guy that has to go around and restock all the treasure chests with coral, right? Man. Can you imagine the father that had to cut that umbilical cord? It's probably... Probably very, uh... Very, um... He probably had to lie about, um being glad that that was his child. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, damn it. It probably looked like a... It probably looked like a tennis ball when it was born. <laughs> okay, come on, please. Don't make me beg a treasure chest. Dude. Dude, dude. Come on, man. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, that's six more. Like, did somebody ever count? Do you need, like, 500 pieces or something? I've, I've probably given him at least, like, 150. I attacked a uh, fucking dude with the wrong person. Oh, well. Oh, shit, I should have had Zeus attack him. I thought that uh, somebody else would kill him in one shot. Oh, well. Ugh. Ugh. This is why I record on the weekend. Today's Friday. And uh, I'm putting this one up on Friday, but like I already worked and shit. Yeah, when it's on the weekend, then I have time to like do extra playing and shit like this. But I mean, it's already getting close to needing to go to bed. I'll I'll go ahead and I'll put up the other. I uh, also have to put. A, I also didn't do zero the Kamikaze Squirrel today. I'll do that tomorrow. Is fine. Just being down like one video. It's worth on the short one is not a big deal. The the short one being the uh, the non-RPG. Those ones are usually only like 10 minutes and RPG is usually like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Man, actually, the, uh, the, the next game I do is going to be blind. The next RPG, rather, I should say, is going to be blind. And then the next game after that is going to be not blind. And uh, it's going to be uh, Final... or Final Fantasy. Uh, it's going to be Breath of Fire 3. And, um, yeah, looking forward to playing that. Um, uh, Funky G, the, the real Funky G, the human, is uh, actually playing that right now. I think he's getting close to the end of it. But, uh, yeah, I really want to watch that, so I just want to uh, play that uh, just because um, I want to watch him. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to watch an LP of a game and then immediately, you know, and then play it again, you know? And then just play it after just having watched it, you know? Um... Okay, was that- did I get five and then five again? There was a reason I brought up the, uh, the Breath of Fire 3 thing, by the way. But I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. And Jasmine, you are fucking wrecking shit. Oh, it's because you got that, uh, that Gradius or whatever, that super strong, uh, uh, dagger or whatever, right? So strong, but the icon is so teeny tiny. Okay, it's gonna take me back to the treasure. Uh, I've come into this safe uh, room like a billion fucking times. Oh, there. Uh, oh, excuse me. A fucking air pocket out of nowhere. That air pocket's been in my stomach apparently for like a half hour. I didn't even notice it. Boy. Oh, uh, I remember what I was going to say. But uh, some of those videos are, like, almost an hour long. So I'm sitting here going, like, man, can you, like, can you imagine doing, like, an hour-long recording? Golly. Actually, <laughs> now that I say it, actually, I sort of can imagine an hour-long recording, because I'm doing one right fucking now, it seems. Jeez. Yeah, this is going to go over on time. Oh, well. I want to, you know, I was just going to kind of be like, well, it'll just take an extra two minutes or whatever to get the coral. But now it's like, the longer it goes on, the more, well, the more coral I collect, the the higher I figure the odds of this being the time that he'll let me through 
So I keep thinking that I just need to play for another minute. No, just another minute. Just another minute. Just another minute. Next thing you know, it's been like 10 extra minutes, and now I'm already like, I'm too invested in fucking... Oh, fuck! I, oh, I hit the directions fucked up and missed the treasure. Oh, that's Coral I could have had that I didn't, don't have now. Oh, this sucks. Now the next time I see the treasure chest and I don't have enough Coral, I'm going to be like, oh, but I might have had enough. Okay. Oops. Damn it. I really hope it doesn't give him all his life back when he rejuvenates or whatever like that. Yeah, he might actually. Oh well. Okay, jump mount. Okay. Okay, come on, we need uh I almost don't even know if I wanna um find the treasure ch or find the dude that wants the coral. I wanna just keep collecting it. Just so I don't have to get my hopes up. Just to have him fall over and over again. Kind of reminds me of uh, that Calvin and Hobbes that I read the other day where, was, uh, where the dude was waiting for the beanie. And uh, yeah, it's totally true uh, what he said. He, he was like, he's like, every day that, you know, and I'm actually, I, I ordered some silver, uh, too, uh, 10 ounces. And uh, I'm waiting for that to arrive. And um, yeah, when you're waiting for stuff in the mail, every day that it doesn't arrive, you figure that the odds of it coming the next day are greater. So your odds, so your hopes every day, so your hopes are higher the next day because you're like, well, the odds are better now, so now your hopes get higher. So then if it doesn't come, then you're let down, but then you're like, yeah, but the, the odds of it coming the next day are better. So then your hopes just get higher and higher every day before they fall again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is just, this is the first time I bought silver, so that's why I'm a little more, bit more, uh, like excited to get it but uh, yeah over time I'm gonna be buying like probably a lot of it so uh, pretty soon it's gonna become run of the mill to get silver in the mail man if I would have known it to be this much I would have fucking counted actually I, there's no way I would have been able to keep count I know somebody counted. You probably have to give him like 255 pieces or some shit. Okay, let's not attack with you. Yeah, bitch. 7,200. Damn. What did Jasmine gain? On, did she gain two levels in this cave? Where we're hardly getting dick for experience? Okay, I'm just gonna say that if if we get if we get to him and he doesn't um if i mean we gotta end the episode at some point you know uh if we don't if we if we find him again if he still wants more we'll have to end the episode because this this is getting ridiculous this is going to be like a 45 minute episode 99.99 baby All right. Now, yeah, probably not going to see that too many times. Okay, so I'll just go until I run into the fucking asshole chest. Okay, there might have been one to the left from there. This is the save point room. Fuck you. Actually, I'm going to save again. Man, I've been in this cave for a long fucking time. Uh, fuck, dude. Which one do I save over, though? I'll just save over this one. Uh, save room again. Okay. I've done this so many times. Chest is not to the right. Chest is down here, right? And then is there is there another... When I get When I come into this big open room, are there two chests? I don't... Actually, no. Does fire work? Can I just fire through all of them? I guess unless it one-shots, it's not worth it. Yeah. Not for 50 fucking magic. Man, Jasmine, you are a fucking beast. I mean, I can't give her too much credit. It's the fucking weapon. Okay. 
Okay. So whenever okay, so whenever you're in the big open room. Okay, there's just that one, okay. There might be two big open rooms. Nope, I think this is the same one. I guess if I could if I could ever like learn to like distinguish which room I'm in, I could just walk directly towards the treasure. Okay, I wonder if somebody learned something and I didn't uh, take it off. I'm not fucking worried about that at this point, though. I'm just getting one magic point every time anyway. This is the save room. It's the save room again. Okay. Aw, oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know if there's just one chest in this one. Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fucking running. If I have warp, I can warp the fuck out of here. I can. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, turn the screen all pixely. That's how warping works, right? Okay, so just the one in this room. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. If this ain't enough, I guess we'll have to end it anyway, because it's going to take uh, too long to fight the boss. Alright, fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cut here, or we're not gonna cut, we're gonna end the episode, and we'll pick it up next time. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna cut until, we wasted way too much fucking time here, I'm just gonna cut until uh, the dude says we, that we have enough. Because this could take another ten minutes, and we already, I don't want to waste ten minutes of the next episode just showing the same shit that you already saw for way too long in this one. Uh, so yeah, we'll pick it up next time. I have to get in the habit of checking the uh, the capture more often. And the and the uh, the audio waves more often. I just went a long time without doing that, and I just gotta make sure I get in the habit of doing that so that I don't lose too much shit if I notice that it's fucked up. But uh, yeah, we'll pick it up next time, and uh, we'll see you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye.